What's up guys, this is Steve from at Night and I'm finally in my new house. I'll grab everything set up behind me. It's all currently upside down because my roommates thought it would be a great idea to turn my entire room upside down when I wasn't here. So I can't be bothered to change it. So this is going to be upside down for the foreseeable future. Today I'm going to run through 10 more must-have applications. This is number two in this video series and I'm going to carry this on for as long as I can. The last one was pretty popular. Please like this video and share it with your friends and enjoy. So the first app we're going to look at is called Wally. This is my current favourite wallpaper application, primarily because it's got a really cool UI, it looks kind of material UI, and it's just got a really, really nice selection. A lot of you guys ask where I get my wallpapers from. In my most recent videos, it's probably going to be from this one. I think I've used the Pokedex one, uh, there's another Pokemon one there, a couple of these I've been using in my videos. I am getting a website done at the moment, one of my mates is making one for me. So on there, there's going to be a big section where I'm going to put all the wallpapers that I use in my videos, but for now this is a really nice place to find them. You've got the trending option which is the far left one, and if you go across here you've got a search, so you can search by colour or um, any other keyword, stuff like that. You've also got this cool shuffle option which each time you click and pull down will shuffle around and give you a random selection of wallpapers, and then you've also got a section here for your favourited ones. You can also swipe across as well as tapping at the top there, but it's a really really simple UI and just works really really nicely. You get a little preview of each wallpaper as well as the size. If you tap the heart, it will favorite it for you. And if you tap the actual image itself, it will load it up and it will give you the option to either save it to your device or set it as your wallpaper. So you can either set as or save and you can also hit here to see it full screen. If you go into the set as option, it's quite nice that you can set it using a bunch of different applications. I tend to always set it through Musi or Tholotis because they give that really nice kind of blur effect. Next up we've got Drastic DS Emulator, and this is I guess sort of technically a game, but at the same time it's an app that sort of lets you game on other stuff, because obviously it lets you play DS games. It's really really customizable, you can customize where all these buttons are on screen. You can also plug in a 360 controller using an on-the-go cable and control it through that, and I just really like the way it deals with having a dual screen. The bottom screen is fully touch screen, which is really, really good for games like Pokemon is pretty much the only one I've been playing. I did try Monster Hunter, but it's a little bit laggy, but it's been recently updated, so I'm going to try that again. And to be honest, if enough of you guys want it, I'll probably do a full video on this, as well as sort of like PSP emulators, just do a general emulator video. But if you want a DS emulator, this one is fantastic. Along the bottom here, you can see you've got a bunch of different setups for showing how the screens display. So you can have one where the screen is big, and then you've got a little one there. Or you can do full screen. So you've got a bunch of different customizable options which will just basically be able to make you tailor the gameplay for whichever game you're playing. Next up we've got AirDroid and I'm probably going to do a full video on this. I, my laptop is currently not in the house so I can't actually show you how it works on the laptop. It lets you connect your phone to your laptop via Wi-Fi and it's a little bit like Push Bullet except it's less sort of notification based. Drag files over the Wi-Fi to and from the phone, lets you answer text, stuff like that. It's really really useful if you want to add just a little bit more functionality to your phone and it works on Mac, PC and Linux. Next up we've got Dripler and this is one of the best apps for getting Android related news. If you click up top here you've got the options to look at all news and tips, apps or games and you've got a nice news feed here um, all with stories curated but basically if you're an Android geek this is really really good. It has big app lists as well which are really useful. And if you go across here you've got a discussion forum which is cool if you want to just chat with people um, to do with different phones, different accessories, things like that. So for example we'll go into this story here which is the 10 best free music apps. For Android. At the top here you've got all the sharing options you'd expect as well as the options to favourite and to star it. One of the coolest things I like about it is it gives you this little ticker at the bottom which will give you a list of all the applications mentioned in the piece and if you just tap on one it will go straight to the Play Store which is really really cool. But Drip is one of the best ways to keep up to date with um, just what's going on with Android, getting app lists, updates, stuff like that and it's also got push notifications which work really well. Next up we've got Flow Home which is one of the more recent home launchers on the Play Store. It is a little bit laggy on my phone but that's because I'm running the Android L preview. You can swipe right on a story to get rid of it and this pulls data in from all your social networks. It hasn't quite got Google Plus and stuff there yet but it's got Facebook and Twitter and the dev is adding new stuff all the time. You've got a material UI style sort of floating button here. If you tap that it just takes you to your favourites. I love her in the app drawer there's kind of like a liquid kind of effect I guess. The way the icons move they don't move in sort of a solid grid. They sort of flex slightly, it looks really cool and it kind of makes the phone feel like it is actually a material which is kind of the aim of material UI I think but this sort of takes it one step further. You've got the material style search at the bottom here and you can just type in to find your applications. You can tap up here to get to the options and there's a bunch of different themes so I'm using material double 
So for example, this is a much lighter one. There's a bunch of different themes you can play around with and you can customize your header image. You got obviously the date here and the weather here. It's a really nice minimal home screen. I don't think it's quite there yet to use every day, but it's getting very, very close. And I love following any of these new launches because all of them are doing something slightly different. So that's Flow Launcher or Flow Home. And I think it's gonna be really, really good in the near future. It's currently in this beta. So what you need to do is go to Twitter and I suggest you use an app like Falcon and give yourself a push notification whenever the developer tweets and then twice a day he tweets out a bunch of codes and you just stick those into the app and it will unlock it for you. But if you don't do that, the codes do disappear quite quickly. But if you can get onto it, really nice app. Next up, we've got the Yahoo News Digest. And I mentioned in another video, I historically sort of hate Yahoo, not out of principle, but just the fact that most of what they've done has been sort of not shit, but pretty crap. But this is actually really, really nice. It's a news app that sort of does the whole thing slightly differently. Instead of just giving you loads and loads of stories, it curates stories for you and just gives you 10 in the morning and 10 in the evening. So the UI is really simple, gives you the day and you can scroll down and these are the ones you can see that it's served up to me this morning. And if you click on one, it will open it up and you can then scroll through each different story and each one comes with some pretty interesting stuff at the, better, at the bottom. At the bottom, you get videos, you get um, definitions of anything they've talked about. So for example, the troll here, gives you maps to do with um, where the story's been and tweets and other stuff like that. And then you've got a references panel at the bottom, so it's a really well curated, really sort of up to date news app. I love the fact it just serves the stories up to you. It means you'd have to keep dragging through Twitter or trolling th or scrolling through something else or any other app. This just gives you 10 stories and they tend to be pretty good. And if you scroll through all of them, it's a little bit laggy again. I'm using this Android L preview and recently it started to really slow down, so I am going to reflash to a custom ROM. When you finish as well, you get a nice little fact text, which is normally something related to one of the stories you read. And if you click through, you can read more news. Or at least you can if your Wi-Fi is working. Next up, we've got Super Widget Gallery. And I showed you guys this one in my top 20 Android widget video. But it is really, really good. And it's definitely one I suggest you try out if you like customizing your phone. You do need to have Zuper Pro installed as well. But I'll put a link to that also in the description. And this just curates a bunch of cool Zuper themes for you based on popularity. You can filter them at the top here by going through all these different attributes, which are just the things that all the Zuper widgets are built with. You can also search popularity alphabetical or by the date created. When you go into one, you can download it. You've got some more information about it. You can star it. You can also tap this eye up top and all this does is hides it in the app. So if there's one that you don't want to that you've already installed, you can do that and it won't bother you again. And you can just scroll through all of the new ones. And then once you download them, they will appear in the Zuper Pro widget here and you can just choose the one you want and you choose the widget size to match with them. Next up, we've got Playboard and kind of like Dripler, this is just a great way to find a list of applications and widgets and live wallpapers and stuff like that. You can follow different people. So if you guys go to the link in the description, you can follow me. And each time I do a video, I update a list on Playboard. So you guys can follow it there and it provides you all the download links. So for example, you can go to Hot Games and you can scroll through and people can either put their own descriptions in or just pause the one from the Play Store. But it's a great way to find um, curated list of apps and they tend to be pretty good. If you get people who are good and you follow them, you can find new stuff all the time. It's kind of like Dripler and it's a really, really nice UI as well. And it's almost a better way just to use the Play Store. You can just scroll through it and if you hit that, it'll take you straight to the Play Store. Awfully sorry, a priest just knocked on my door, so that interrupted it. But next up, we've got Noisy. This is an awesome app that lets you customize your volume controls and this you don't even need to be rooted for. I am going to do a video on how to customize your phone if you're not rooted and this is going to be one of the apps in that list but I really really do like it sort of aesthetically and the functionality that adds. So for example there's a bunch of different themes. I've got the one here and if you tap at the bottom it expands it you can see all your different volume levels. So there's a really minimalist one at the top called status bar which just gives it on the status bar at the top and you can change the transparency. You then got a couple of pro ones so you've got a Windows phone clone, another Windows phone clone. Um, a heads up one and then you got a paranoid android style which is a custom rom and you got a blackberry one MIUI version 5 ios and then an extended control one you can also make it invisible which i don't quite understand but if you do want to make it invisible you've got the option so if you want to customize your volume panel this is a really easy way to do it the final app in this list is locker master and this lets you customize your lock screen i generally don't really like these apps because i don't normally use a lock screen but i've started using it a little bit more because the android l face recognition is much better so with this ukulele theme to unlock you can choose which strings you play in which order so for me i do that and you can make it so there is sound you can turn it off if you want to i'm just going to go back into it just to show you the sidebar so if you scroll across here you've got your applications and then if you scroll on the other side you've got all of the tools there's some pretty cool ones like you can scan a qr code straight from the lock screen or you get a weather update, or we've got a music one, which unfortunately doesn't work with all music players, but it works with quite a few. And mo probably most useful one is the torch. 
and there's an absolutely huge amount of themes you can choose. You can also build your own, but I'm just going to flip into a category. We're going to go into creative and we'll just have a quick look and see what we can find. So, for example, you've got this one that's quite cool, the earth, and you tap on it. And all of these, unfortunately, don't download within the app. They do take you to the Play Store, but um, they are pretty cool if you want to have that option to customise your lock screen. So that's Lockmaster, and I think that's probably one of the best ways to customise your lock screen. You don't need to be rooted, and unlike a lot of them, it doesn't seem to actually impact my battery life, which is cool. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Please comment below if there's any other apps you would like to see. You can also follow me on all my social media things with the links in the description. Please also subscribe if you haven't seen me before. Comment below if there's any apps you should be in the next video. Appreciate it.